Born in New York City, uh, till I was seven, we moved to uh, California at that time and uh, was in a town of San Jose. I uh, started wrestling in uh, Campbell High School. I was a sophomore. Uh, George Miskillen was my first coach and uh, he was also my football coach. I credit him with getting me a good start because uh, wrestling was a powerhouse at the time. In the three years that I wrestled for them, uh, we actually lost one dual meet and uh, won all the others tournaments uh, up to my uh, senior year. Went to San Jose State uh, University where I went on a football scholarship and uh, wrestling was basically secondary at that time. but. Uh, I did wrestle for a wonderful man by the name of Hugh Mumby. Went from there to uh, the Air Force. I was ROTC with uh, San Jose State and uh, my first assignment was Lincoln Air Force Base where I met Bill Smith and of course he, he made the difference. Uh, Bill was uh, a uh, Olympic champion, excellent coach. He got the most out of you whether you liked it or not. Of course, during the Air Force, I was in, on several SISM teams and uh, was fairly successful. Uh, won uh, a SISM championship in Istanbul for uh, Greco-Roman wrestling, and I was second in freestyle. And then the second SISM games were two years later in Cairo, Egypt, where I ended up uh, a uh, first in freestyle and second in Greco. My tour was over five years and I, uh, I moved out to, moved back to California. And uh, from there, I, uh, I guess some of the highlights of my wrestling were, uh, San Diego had a big tournament there in uh, San Diego at the Naval Training Center and there were just, oh, I can't tell you how many competitors, but uh, sometimes the weight classes would get into the 70s. And uh, I, uh, I have the distinction of having wrestled in that uh, 13 years from 1970 to nine, or from 1960 to 1972, at which time I won the tournament every year. In the nationals, I wrestled in uh, oh, probably 10, 12 national championships from uh, 1960 to uh, 72 and uh, during that period of time, I was uh, freestyle champion six times and Greco-Roman champion six times. I uh, was awarded the Outstanding Wrestler Trophy six times during those national tournaments and I think that's still a record, I don't know. I was on two uh, U.S. Olympic teams, uh, 1960 which was Rome and uh, 64 with Tokyo. Uh, the big help there for the uh, Rome Olympics, uh, where I specialized in Greco, was uh, Dale Thomas. The 64 team was uh, in Tokyo, and uh, again, Greco-Roman uh, seemed to be my click. I uh, went over to Tokyo. It, it wasn't as much a fun a trip as the, the Rome one was because you know, at that time I was looking to medal and uh, didn't get the job done. I also boxed at San Jose State for a wonderful guy by the name of Julie Menendez. And uh, he, uh, in fact, fantastic boxing coach. We as a team won the national uh, boxing championships. And uh, he was selected as the uh, Rome uh, boxing coach for the U.S. team, which uh, was certainly uh, well-deserved. Uh, I remember him talking about uh, Cassius Clay, of course, that was Muhammad Ali at that time. A tremendous man, and uh, the day he won his gold medal, I was right there in the corner, and the next day we were palling around the Olympics, and he, of course he had his medal on, and uh, my aunt and uncle had come up at that time from uh, Sicily to visit me, and he was just part of the group. Uh, George Miskillen was my uh, first real mentor, coach, uh, whatever you want to call him, because he he was the football coach uh, that got me started. Uh, he was the wrestling coach that got me started. And 
a wonderful man. Uh, just uh, we had a relationship throughout his entire life. He and Bill Smith probably, I would say, were the two biggest influences on me in regards to athletics. The people you meet in wrestling, they're, they're, they have to be good because there's no excuses. You know, you can lose a football game and you can blame everybody on the team but yourself. When you go out there, it's just one-on-one -on -one and you win and lose by yourself. And uh, I just think that uh, this, this is what makes wrestlers so much easier to get along with, uh, a lot more humble because I, I don't think there have been too many wrestlers that have gone through life without losing once in a while. And you learn as much from the losing as you do from the winning, maybe more. I have a wonderful wife uh, at home. She has supported me uh, in anything I wanted to do. In fact, I hauled her clear from uh, California to Missouri, and uh, we ended up buying a farm there, which uh, I retired when I was 40 from the insurance business. We're, we're in the middle of Missouri, and I, I decided, hey, uh, I want to try wrestling again. <laughs> I don't know if it was the fact that I was doing a lot of farm work and feeling real healthy, but uh, I called Dan Gable, and he said, sure, come on up, Russ. And I went up to the University of Iowa, which uh, was a wonderful experience for meeting the people there and getting to know Dan better, but uh, it wasn't too good as far as a wrestling decision. <laughs> And I realized then that you can't bring back time. What's the Hall of Fame mean? I'm 73 years old. Uh, it's probably, uh, I don't know, the cherry on top of the uh, Sunday you buy. Uh, it's, I've had a lot of years to think about it. Uh, and uh, a lot of years to weigh the why I'm not in it and why I am in it, uh, or I should be in it or shouldn't be in it. Uh, it's the pinnacle. You know, you're there with, with a lot of your friends that you've uh, competed with over the years. It's forever. And what else can I say? Uh, it's probably the greatest honor I'll ever receive. I know it is.